My name is Kokiyabe. I'm a shy guy who doesn't stand out and I'm working in the general affairs department. Excuse me, I finished sending and sorting the mail you asked me to do. Is there anything else I could do? Oh, thanks. There's nothing I can ask you to do for me right now, so it's fine. Okay. On top of that, everyone in that general affairs department thinks I'm stupid. They don't give me much work. Excuse me, I'm from the accounting department, and I was wondering if I could ask you about the budget for the welcome ceremony and the kickoff meeting. Ah, the welcome ceremony and kickoff meeting. Yes, yes. Um, Abisan looks like he has nothing to do. Is that okay? Hmm? It's fine. He can't do much of anything anyways. That's kind of a waste. Ah, his salary, right? It's certainly a waste that he's being paid for his incompetence and uselessness. No, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. Let me start with the welcome ceremony. Apparently, Abbasan comes to the office early in the morning and hangs around even though he doesn't have any work. <sighs> what is he doing? I heard from someone in another department that he stays late at night too. Isn't that strange? He doesn't even have a job that requires him to work late. I wonder what he's doing. Isn't it a little strange? I mean, is that really Abbasan in the first place? Maybe it's someone who just looks like him. Oh no, please don't say that. I won't have work to do if I just wait for my boss to tell me what to do. Guess I'll go find something myself. Wait, uh, Abbasan's gone? What? Since when? Oh no, I'm scared. Then one day, I was hospitalized after being hit by a motorcycle while riding my bike. I'm so sorry I got you into this. No, oh, no, no, it's okay. At least we're both lucky to have survived. I had to take some time off of work. I called my boss and he said, there's nothing for us to take over from you, so just stay there and take a good rest. It was a little saddening. <laughs> uh. Abe was involved in an accident and had to be hospitalized for a while. Which means he'll be gone for a while, but... Well, it should be a problem, right? <laughs> well, he didn't have much work to begin with. It doesn't make much of a difference, so there's no problem. People at the company probably think nothing will change without me. I'm a little bit worried, though. Um, my computer won't sort for ages! My computer, too. It's slow to start up. I can't work at all. Why all of a sudden? Excuse me. This is the secretarial department. I haven't gotten a reply to my email. Have you checked it, though? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time getting my computer to start today. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, I'm sorry. I got my computer up and running, but the consumables management format is all messed up. What? Can someone fix it? I don't really know how to. Me neither. What? Someone made it, right? They changed the format just last year. Uh... What? Didn't somebody make it? What? The new format is always sent to us on its own. I've never made one. What? Where has it been coming from? I... I thought it was from the fairies. What? Don't you know? There is a fairy in the general affairs department. If you put a file on unfinished work in the help me section, it will be finished in the next morning. What? What is that? Does everyone know? I've done it too. My former colleague of mine taught me how to do it. Me too. Wait, are those really fairies? Aren't they like monsters or something? Oh no, it's helpful, but it's a little creepy. So I was trying to pretend it was a fairy on purpose. What do you mean, monster? They help you when you're nice to them. But when they're angry, they're scary. My computer didn't start this morning. The formatting is messed up. Maybe the monster is angry. What? Why did the monster get angry all of a sudden? The monster? Maybe because Abbasan isn't here? Uh, Ava-san, the accountant. Do you know anything about this? Abbasan always comes to the office early in the morning and does things until late at night. 
It's strange because he doesn't look like he's working much. Maybe he was doing work that only he can do? Maybe he was. Tending the monster? If Abasan is not here, the monster may go berserk. Oh, what do we do? Can't someone do something? Wait a minute. I can't handle all the ghosts and monsters. I'm leaving early. What should our subordinates do if the boss runs away? Meanwhile, I was sleeping a lot and relaxing for the first time in a while. Excuse me, I don't like the smell of incense in the kitchen. Can you do something about it? What? Why is there the incense in the kitchen? Oh no, isn't this really weird? Wait, my desk is sticky. Could this be the monster? Did it walk over it? Please don't say such creepy things. Look out the window, everyone! Why are there so many crows? Maybe it's all because Abasan isn't here. Abasan, please come home soon! There's been so much trouble in all the departments. We can't get anything done! I'm sorry for making fun of you for not doing your job! The trouble in the General Affairs Department is the worst! Help! I'm sorry I thought you were useless! For some reason, Everyone who had treated me like baggage apologized to me. And since then, I've been getting calls to come back every day. I won't be mean to you anymore. I'll take good care of you. So get well soon. Uh, okay. Three weeks later, I got out of the hospital and went back to work. Congratulations on your discharge. Welcome back. Things will be okay now. We don't have to be scared anymore. What? Scary? Did something happen? Apparently, it was a disaster while you were gone, Abasan. What? That's right! The monster went on a rampage! I couldn't get my computer to start up at all because of the monster! I couldn't do any work in the morning! Monster? I don't know what you're talking about. But that computer is the oldest one, and it takes a long time to start up. That's why I always came early in the morning to start it up. Oh! Uh -huh. <gasps> Abasan, were you the one who made the format for the consumables? Yes. Oh, I fixed everything that was wrong this morning. Looks like someone tried to fix it, but made it worse. I'm your boss, and I didn't even know you made it. What did you tell me? I didn't think you guys would want to be in my debt. I didn't think you'd feel good about your job if you knew I made it. Uh. Um, so you're also the one who's cleaning up the help me file? That would be me. I thought it was too complicated and I didn't want to deal with it. So I just put it in the help me file. But you already finished it? You're amazing, Abisan! You're so talented! Why did we ever think you were incompetent? Then what about the incense smell of the kitchen? Oh! I've been very careful about deodorizing the kitchen. When the president uses the pot, the kitchen starts to smell like incense. Uh, apparently, the tissues the present carries with them are a rare kind bought overseas, and they smell like incense sticks. I could smell it from the trash can where he threw the tissues away. So after the president was done, I went to collect the trash. Any employees don't like the smell of incense, so... Then how come my desk was so sticky? That's because you ate sweets and didn't wipe your hands. I wiped the desk clean every day to sterilize it. And the crows? Crows? Oh! The crows gather there because the janitorial staff does a poor job of cleaning. That's why I always clean up after the janitor. I cleaned this morning, so I think it should be fine. This, this was, was all thanks to Abyssal's work? I'm sorry. Should I have told you? Well, Abyssal's work ethic is excellent after all. It's no surprise this would happen without him. Abyssal usually goes to each department himself to ask about the internal and external problems and deals with them. Everyone in other departments wish Abisan would come to their department. What? That's my first time hearing that! Every department is trying to pull him under the waters. It's so chaotic that it's rather quiet. By the way, I'd like to have Abisan in the accounting department too. He's, He's not, not going, going anywhere! anywhere. <laughs> Abisan is so popular. I was gone. Everyone in the General Affairs Department was in an uproar that a monster was on a rampage. 
and I was called the Yin Yang employee for a while after I calmed the frenzy. I'm now relied on by everyone in the General Affairs Department, and the entire department is now busy because I assign the work I find to everyone else. The other departments are now thanking me for my hard work, and everyone in the General Affairs Department seems to be enjoying themselves. Everyone in the General Affairs Department is very lively these days. Is that so? It's a shame. I was hoping you'd come to the accounting department. I'm sorry. I kind of like the detailed work all throughout the office. I guess I have no choice. I'll give up trying to get you to join the accounting department. So, is it okay if I invite you on a date next time? What? I don't do my job to be praised by others. But it is nice to be praised for the work I do behind the scene. And... I shouldn't be the only one who starts to like people who recognize my work. My name is Atsushi Kondo. I'm a 17-year-old high school sophomore at a public high school. And I have a childhood friend from my neighborhood that I've been with since kindergarten. Hey, Atsushi! What are you doing alone on a Sunday? I have cram school now. Studying on your day off, huh? You're getting more and more nerdy, aren't you? My childhood friend's name is Naro and we used to hang out a lot until elementary school because we lived close to each other. But after entering junior high, Naru joined the popular kids at school and started making fun of me. It's not like I dislike Naru, but... Have you already decided which school you want to go to? You don't have to worry about that until junior year. Got to enjoy high school for now. See you later. I'll hand you back your last test. Kondo! You did great this time, too. Ah, you scrawny nerd. You'll never get a girlfriend like that. You were a fun guy in elementary school, but you're getting lamer as time goes by. My parents always tell me to follow your example, but I wouldn't want to live like you. Studying again, huh? I... I don't need a girlfriend until college. You're missing out on life. You only live once, man. Right? You have to enjoy it. I know what Naro is saying, but I'm careful because it's only one life. It's just my personality. By the way, I'm going out with your favorite girl, Misa. You must be jealous. What are we talking about? When I was in the second year of junior high school, there was a girl in my class named Misa Yamabe who I was interested in. She was the captain of the girls' basketball team bright and active and popular in our grade. I had a crush on her too. But in the winter of my second year of junior high school, Yamabe asked me out on a date. Hey, Kondo, want to hang out with me this Sunday? What? With me? Of course, there was no reason to say no, so we decided to go on a date on Sunday. Kondo, you're tall and cool. Really? It's amazing how you became captain of the women's basketball team in your second year. You must be popular even though our women's team is a powerhouse. Well, people know what would happen if they don't choose me. I am pretty influential. What? I see. They don't pick girls they don't like to be on the team. I didn't know she had this kind of personality. I'm not a fan. I thought she was bright and popular. See you next week? No, I don't think so. After spending the day together, I just don't think we can get along. Sorry. Oh. After that, when I declined the next date, Yamabe told everyone she was the one who rejected me. But I didn't correct it because it would have hurt her feeling. Perhaps Naru still believes that I was dumped by Yamabe, even though it's been more than three years since then. Anyway, my goal now is to get into the school of my choice. You're only going to regret it if you grow up not doing the things you want to now. I think it's up to each person to decide what they want to do now. I'll do what I want. At the preparatory school I started attending after entering high school, I was able to spend time with many of my peers who thought like me, so I was able to live carefree from Naro's noises. Oh, did you do it? I finally got an A. How about you, Sumugi? Oh, wow, that's great. I got a B. I got a B. Good job, Atsushi. I'm studying hard every day thinking I'll probably never study this much again in my life. I know, I think the same. But if we work harder now, it'll pay off later. I hope so. 
Those wishes came true, and I've been living a good college life this past year, working part-time and studying at the same time. What? Naro moved out of his parents' house? Is that why I haven't seen him around the neighborhood lately? Yeah, that's what Nuru's mother said when I saw her at the supermarket yesterday. You don't want to live alone? I'm working part-time to save money, so I'd rather stay at home. College is only a trade ran away, too. That would be better for us, too. And then it was time for my coming-of-age ceremony. I was going to the ceremony with Sumugi, who I've been dating for a year and a half. It was so cute to see her in a kimono for the first time. What do you think? Does it suit me? It's cute! You look great! Amazing! You're an angel! Stop! What are you saying? Kondo! Long time no see! I heard you got into Sakai University! Yeah! Is that your girlfriend? She's really pretty for someone who doesn't seem interested in relationships in high school. We went to different high schools, but we went to the same cram school together from the first year of high school. We wanted to go to the same college, so we encouraged each other. A girl this pretty would encourage you to do your best! What a difference from him! What? Is that Naro and Yamabe? Yeah, I heard they're having a rough time. What do you mean? I heard they moved out to live on their own and go to college. Hey, long time no see! I haven't seen you around lately, but my mom told me you're living on your own now. Yeah, I live in an apartment near the college. Is that your girlfriend, Atsushi? Yeah, we went to the same cram school since first year of high school, and we go to the same college. Nice to meet you. I'm Tsukumi Mito. Nice to meet you. Naro lives close by and is a childhood friend of mine. Uh, huh? The cram school together? Yeah. We both apply to the same college, so we always promised that if we got in, we'd go out with each other. You never said anything like that! At the time, we didn't even know we would get into the same college. I got pregnant and quit college. Well, I had nothing I wanted to study, so it's fine. I'm living with Nauro now. I see. You guys got married? Yeah, we just got engaged. See you later. I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to everyone who has reached a major milestone in their lives today, the coming of age. And after the ceremony was over, I went home once to change my clothes and decided to have dinner with my classmates at a family restaurant for the first time in a while to catch up. It looks like Misa quit college and can no longer work part-time since she's pregnant, but Nauro doesn't seem to be working either. He asks me for money quite often. I wonder if they're okay. But Naro quit college to work, right? What? He quit college? I didn't know. I heard both parents are mad at him and said they'll never support him. I heard he talked to his parents because he didn't want to quit college. But they rejected him and told him to take responsibility and quit college for work. By the time Misa realized she was pregnant, the baby had grown too big and she had no choice but to give birth. Misa's determined to have the baby and wants to be a good mother, but... Naruo. I see. But if they work together, I'm sure things will turn for the better. I don't think that's possible. Naruo's always complaining about Misa. As we were talking about this, Naruo and Yamabe entered the family restaurant and noticed us. Yo, let us join you guys! When's the baby due? That must be exciting! Next month, you want to see the mother-child handbook? You don't have to show them that! Why not? I have the baby pictures. It's fine! I never wanted kids anyway! I wanted to have more fun! It's all your fault, Asushi! I started going out with her because you liked her! And now my life is ruined because of it! What? What, what is that? You liked Misa, didn't you? Yeah, I liked her for a bit in junior high. No, I'll tell you the truth. I was rejected by Kondo when I was in the seventh grade, but at the time I lied to everyone that I was the one who rejected Kondo because I didn't want to be lame. What? Kondo probably didn't correct the lie so not to embarrass me, but it's always been on my mind. I was thinking of apologizing to you someday. It's fine. It's a thing of the past anyway. But more importantly, 
I don't think it's good for the baby to think about such dark things right now. What the hell is that? My parents always compared me to you and lectured me just because we've known each other since childhood. I've always hated you. It's all your fault. <laughs> don't cry. Hey, you'll scare the baby. Good for you. Getting into a good college despite being lame and even getting a pretty girlfriend. Quit it already! Stop saying things that'll worry your pregnant wife. These were all your decisions. Take responsibility for what you've done. If you have time for regrets, try to make the future a little better. That's right. I understand now why I was rejected by Kondo. Why I quit college. Everything I did was just coming back to me. That's why I'm trying to reflect on it and be a better mother. <laughs> And with this dark mood, we left. And four months later, I was shopping with Samugi at a supermarket near my parents' house when I happened to meet Naro and Yamabe with a baby in their arms. What? The baby's born? Oh, she's so cute. Let me see. So cute? Can I hold him? Oh, but the head has to be sitting up. Yeah, I apologize to my parents for forgiveness. And now the three of us are living at home with them. I see. But I guess your parents have no choice but to forgive you when you have such a cute baby. Yeah, I finally got a full-time job, and now I'm going to work hard for my family. I've been thinking about what you said to me on the day of the coming of age ceremony. Yeah? You were right. Anyway, we're back to being neighbors, so... Yeah. So cute. Makes me want to have a baby, too. Good for you getting held by a pretty baby. I'm sorry for the past. Now, we've known each other since childhood, so come to me if you need anything. We all carry some regrets, but we still keep moving forward, looking for the right path. I'm Mamoru Yuzuki. At my workplace, there's this person, Tsunoda-san, who obviously hates me. Ugh, it's getting so cold lately. Makes you want to take a piss every second. <laughs> I know, it's the worst when your stomach starts acting out when you're at the station. <laughs> um, excuse me, but I can't buy my drink if you guys are blabbering there. Oh, uh, sorry, Tsunoda-san. Sorry. As for your conversation earlier... Yes? You need to use the bathroom so soon because you're drinking iced coffee, which obviously chills your body. Uh, plus, it has so much caffeine in it. Uh. You're always drinking those energy drinks, too. Those stuff have a diuretic effect. If you're having so much trouble, how about you think twice before you drink something? Wow, she certainly wasn't in a good mood. She's usually not like that, though. <laughs> She's always like that to me. Really? Uh, does she hate you or something? Well, there was a time when I was thinking to myself, no way, how could she hate me to that question? I have no idea why, but there is no doubt that sonoto san hates me. She talks normally to other people, but somehow she's always in a bad mood when she talks to me. She doesn't make eye contact and gives me the cold shoulder. I would understand if I've done something wrong, but nothing comes to mind. I can't do anything if she just hates my guts. Yuzuki-san, this is from the boss. Oh yeah, uh, thank you. And you have really bad posture. It's embarrassing. How about you straighten your back? Embarrassing? Am I embarrassing someone by having a bad posture? Uh, right. It would affect your work efficiency, and that becomes a problem for the rest of us. So you should really try to work on it. I mean, you're an adult now, so why can't you control your own health issues? Jeez, why is she like this? If she doesn't like me, why can't she just leave me alone? Can't she at least hold her negative feelings during office hours? Hey, Yuzuki-kun, don't get so upset. Neo-san, am I really doing something that makes Tsunada-san hate me so much? Oh, you're getting it all wrong. Tsunada-san acts like that because she likes you. What? That is definitely not true. I swear. Oh, really? In what coach would that attitude indicate love? I was born and raised in Japan, so I don't understand. Maybe she came from a different planet. Hey, Sonoda-san was also born and raised in Japan. 
I mean, that kind of culture is just impossible to guess. It's like that thing where you throw a glove at the person and that indicates a duel challenge. You have to know what it means. Come on, it's not that hard. She hates me for sure. She's been giving me the cold shoulder since this morning and the other day too. A few days ago. Yuzuki-san, your shirt is all wrinkly. It's obvious that you don't have a girlfriend. Yeah? Well, that's none of your business. You know what? Women are generally more attracted to men who have girlfriends or partners than men who clearly have no sign of a woman. Apparently, the person appears to be more appealing just from the fact that he was chosen by someone. Right. So if you're looking for someone who nobody chose, you'll be losing the charm as a man and no one will be attracted to you, so why don't you try and clean yourself up a bit? Uh, thanks for pointing that out. See what I'm saying? Aw, she's just trying to be nice and telling you to look better. Nice? She literally said no one would be attracted to me and that hurts! Oh, but you could also interpret that as, so why don't I iron your shirt for you? Ugh, no you can't. If I said, oh, then you can iron my shirt for me, she'll probably look at me like I'm an insect. Uh, I don't think it's like that. Anyways, she hates me, period. See, I wouldn't bother going to someone I hate and giving them advice. I know, that's the weird thing. She hates me and yet she comes to me. She likes you, so she goes and seeks for chances to talk to you. And why would she glare at me? She's probably just nervous. She's sometimes glaring at me from a distance. But when I notice and look at her, she looks away. I'm like, if you don't want me to look at you, don't stare at me. She likes you, so she wants to look at you. But she gets all shy when you actually look back at her. She's normal to other people, but she gets all weird with me. See? That just means how much she likes you. You're lying, right? You're just making fun of me? I'm teaching you that those are all signs that a girl shows to the person that she likes. You're kidding. Come to think of it, maybe all the things Sunoda-san say to me are not the kind of things you say to a person you hate. But, like, not hate? Is that actually possible? Ow! Well, are you okay? Uh, I'm not gonna trip over so you don't have to help me! Don't treat me like a child! It's disturbing! What? And she doesn't even thank me? neo san has gotta be wrong about this. There's no way she likes me. She probably hates me, but what if she doesn't? I keep thinking and start to get confused. If she doesn't hate me, I want her to tell me. But those thoughts sound as if I don't want her to hate me. Can I give you a piece of advice? Huh? What is it? Uh, just ask if Sunoda-san likes you or not. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's gonna say no, so what's the point? The point is, if she doesn't say yes, you say that you're going to make a girlfriend. Okay. But now I've become curious to find out the truth, and I decided to ask Sunoda-san. Uh, Sunoda-san, I've got something I want to ask you. Uh, yes? Do you like me or something? What? Onio-san said that you like me, but that's not true, is it? Ooh, what are you talking about? Uh, this is stupid. Why would I... Why would you... Yeah, okay. Then I think I should start looking for a girlfriend. Don't want you bugging me about that anymore. What? Oh, do you know if Onio-san has a boyfriend or not? I think she's the closest female friend I have. Do you know anything? You can't! You can't choose and your son. Then who do you think is good for me? Uh, well, you can't make a girlfriend. What? Why? Do I have to stay single? N no, uh, I mean, I like you. Wow, what O'Neill's son was saying was right. Eh? What did she tell you? She explained how your mind works, but I didn't get it. I'm really bad at this kind of stuff, so I thought you hated me. <sighs> I don't hate you. Uh, well, I want you to make it clear, but do you want to go out with me? I do. 
So, will you go out with me? I would love to. Yes. Why are you being all stiff? Does it make you nervous to talk with me? <laughs> it does. It feels like my heart is going to explode when I see you. I want to talk to you, but I, I can't do it well, so I get so anxious that it hurts. I get all excited to see you laughing with other people, but it also makes me jealous. My heart is filled with you, and I don't know what to do about it. Oh, right. Huh? Why are you being all stiff now? Now I know that there is a completely different side of her. And that side of her is actually really cute. And now, Tsunoda-san is all cute and you adore her. Yeah, she's just too cute. Tsunoda-san, you're lucky that Yuzuki-kun was such a straightforward guy. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? <laughs> Never mind. I, uh, made some green juice for you. Well, there are guys who get completely turned off by getting the cold shoulder, so Tsunoda-san was actually lucky. <laughs> but uh, I guess that means they were a good match from the beginning. <laughs> My name is Kaito Tonmai. I'm a junior in college and I'm dating a girl who's in the same college as me, Tsukiyo Kaname. Kaito, are you going home for winter break? Nah, I'm not. My parents are gonna go on a trip for New Year's Eve and New Year's, so there's no point in me going back. I see. Then do you want to go somewhere too? We can go on a hot springs trip or something. Yeah, good luck finding a hotel late into the New Year's Eve season. I don't have the money for that kind of trip either. That's true. But eventually, we should go. Yeah. <sighs> Look at this loser who can't take his girlfriend out on New Year's for a trip. Oh, what a loser. Arya. This guy's name was Arya Kanadake. He's technically a friend in the same college as me, but apparently his family is incredibly rich and sometimes it feels like he's mocking me. Ah, but I guess a regular college student lives life like that, huh? I don't really know what it's like to be normal because my house is so big, you know? <laughs> Must be nice being rich, huh? I mean, I really got lucky with my parents, huh? I'm going to take over my parents' company so I don't have to worry about trying to job hunt or anything, too. I'm so lucky. He's always been saying things that people don't like to everyone. It really wouldn't be that big a deal if I just let it roll off my shoulders, but... One week later... Sorry, Kaito. I'm going to be dating Sukio from now on. Uh... Sorry, Kaito. You heard him. We're done. Wait, what? What's going on? Why? Oh, you know. He bought all of the brand bags that I've wanted for the longest time. He took me to a French place that I've always wanted to eat at. And he says he'll take me out during New Year's Eve and New Year's. He's honestly going to do so much more for me than you ever will. Oh... Okay. <laughs> I don't like making the girl that I love have to hold back. See, the only person that can love me like this is Anuya. Can you love me more than he can? I can't say that I'm confident I can. Right before winter break, my girlfriend was stolen from me. Many of my friends were furious about this whole thing, and they all took me out to cheer me up. Yo, come on, man. We're gonna have a party to cheer you up! Thanks, guys. No one else is coming? Oh, they're already heading home for the break. It looks like it's just us three. What about you, Tomiya? Yusuke? You guys aren't going home? I don't want to go home to my parents. I was told my sister to go into the city and buy some things for her. And I can't go home until I complete my mission. So I'll go back after a little bit. I see. I guess we can all hang out during New Year's then. <laughs> we'll see. After we started drinking at the bar, we could immediately hear a couple that was extremely loud walk in. Wait, that was Hainami, right? And we just walked by? Her face was so small. <laughs> she was so beautiful, huh? Uh, it's Arya and Tsukio. 
Ugh, seriously? The same bar? The luck. It's all right. If we just stay quiet, he won't find us. Oh, I never would have expected to see you guys drinking here. Damn it. Wow, that's a sad group of people. <laughs> Ugly, broke, and boring. You guys have the Holy Trinity. <laughs> you guys don't even have the money to go home. <laughs> what the hell are you guys doing here anyway? You're not going home? We're going to be going overseas starting tomorrow. Yeah. We spent our New Year's on a whole new level. Unlike you, peasants. <laughs> Wait, has Tsukiyo changed after dating Arya? Yeah, Arya's been under the impression that he's rich for some reason. I see. Hey, are you talking shit about me? It's really rude to talk about someone behind their back. Oh, it's really not anything important. We were just saying go have fun on your trip. See you in school next year. Oh, don't worry about it. We've already finished packing up. Want us to drink with you tonight? <laughs> you two go have fun with each other. You came out with your girl, right? Get the hell out of here, dude. You guys should be happier with at least one girl around, right? <laughs> I mean, she's my girl, though, so don't be looking at her all weird, yeah? <laughs> oh, come on, Uruya. Don't be so mean. <laughs> Kaito, you alive? Oh, I'm fine. Guys, just go somewhere. We've got important things to do today. Important things? What is that about? It has nothing to do with you or her. Hey, Tomoya. Sorry to keep you waiting. I thought we were early, so we were waiting outside. Oh, seriously? Sorry, it must have been cold, huh? You guys all right? Yeah, we're fine. Huh? Hinami? Are all of you models? You're all too beautiful! We're off work right now, so shh. Okay. Wait, who are these people? Oh, I figured you were single now, so we were planning on drinking a little, you know? Get to know each other. Drinking with them? I didn't hear about this. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> so yeah, Arya and your girl toy thing, go over there. You're in the way. What? Hardy? Wait, why is Hinami drinking with you guys? Hinami's my childhood friend. Also, these are her model friend. Whatever! You're all getting in the way, so can you hurry up and go somewhere? Wait, wait! I'm a huge fan of Hinami! Let me in on this! Hey, Aruya? Oh. This is a party for Kaido to find a new girlfriend, and you're not invited. All right, the pest is gone. Let's get started. Woo! Cheers, everyone. Cheers! Cheers! Arya just couldn't get past our party and kept looking at us from a distance. Kaito, where do you always buy your clothes? Oh, at a nearby store. Sorry, if I had known this was going to be a party, I would have worn better clothes. Huh? I don't think it looks bad at all. But you have a nice body, so I think you'd look good in anything I dressed you in. If you picked out clothes for me, I might look better. <laughs> sure. Wanna go pick out clothes together sometime? Uh-huh. Are you sure? B but you're a model, right? Who cares? She's saying she wants to go with you. Why don't you go with her? I mean, yeah, I work as a model, but I'm still just a woman. Just a regular girl who would go out for drinks with a childhood friend if his friend was her type. Huh? Wait, you're not supposed to say that. I'm your type? But you seem to get along with Tomoya too. You two aren't like that? Tomoya isn't my type. <laughs> I'm actually dating Akemi, so I wouldn't be dating her anyway. We've been dating for five years now. By the way, I'm going for Kata Day. Which means, realistically, this was kind of a matchmaking for you and Hinami. <laughs> Seriously. Hey, can I have your contact info? Oh, sure. 
M me too, please! Whoa, where the hell did you come from? What the hell is your problem? Why do you keep creeping from all the way over there? It's really weird. I'm Tomoya and Kaito's friend! Let's be friends too! That's the guy who stole Kaito's ex! Everyone be careful! What? Ew, that's gross! So, that girl that he was with is Kaito's ex? He's not even paying attention to her, and he came over here. What a piece of trash. No, that's not how it is. I'm seriously a fan. I have your magazines and everything. I buy all the magazines you're in. I really, really love you. I see. I mean, that woman is so much more attractive than me. I'm going home. <laughs> You should probably chase after her, huh? I have no choice. Put me into the mix since I'm single now! I'm sorry, we're all talking to the six of us right now, so you can go over there. I hadn't introduced myself right now. My name is Arya Kanadake. My parents have a huge business and I'm going to be taking over that business eventually. I have a ticket headed to a tropical destination, so I'm wondering if you'd like to come with me to a getaway tomorrow. Oh, you know, I don't care that you're my fan, or that you're single, or that you have money. I don't like that you take people's girlfriends, and that you just ignore that girl. I just hate how rotten you are. I'll, I'll take care of you as my girlfriend, though. People who can really take care of other people don't pick and choose who they take care of, though. Or just start treating people bad because they're bored. Taking care of you wouldn't do anything except stroke your already fragile ego. Right? Even if the person acts like he's taking care of them, you could definitely feel like you're not being taken care of. And they'll even brag about how much they take care of you, you know? I think the woman they're with will be pretty sad. Uh. Even if you come at me later on in life when I'm a big-time corporate elite, don't think I'll take you seriously! If your father was worth anything as a CEO, I don't think he would ever let you take over his company anytime soon. I have no intention of ever going to you, but good luck! Ah, uh, he finally left. How could you have a girlfriend stolen by that guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kinda sad. I don't think it's his fault. The bad one here is the girl that just follows that guy around like he's some kind of chick magnet. But I don't know about Kaito going out with that girl to begin with. <laughs> it's not his fault. I'll go out with him and fix how he looks at women. Right, Kaito? Huh? Oh. I'll help you forget all of the sad things that happened, so let's go out. Oh, uh, okay. That's how I started going out with Hinami, the model. I just kept going out on dates with her. Apparently her parents were also away on vacation. Thanks to Hinami, I was able to think that this year was good. I felt that this was going to be a good year at the start of the new year. I had the goddess of good luck on my side, so I guess it's to be expected. By the way, Arya and Tsukio were arguing during the first lectures after New Year's, but no one was surprised. My name is Riku Komoro. I'm a college student. My parents don't love me and don't spend any money on me, so I work several part-time jobs to earn money for my tuition and living expenses. It was a condition for me to pay for everything on my own if I wanted to go to college. What? Komoro, you work other part-time jobs besides this one? Yeah, this is my main job, but I also tutor my friend's kids, walk dogs, and deliver food. I do a lot of other things in my spare time, too. Wow! Working here from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. and doing other things? You don't have time to rest. There is. I took a little nap when I got here, and I can take a one-hour break. When I get home, I can sleep a little more, too. All right, I'll take a 40-minute nap now. Okay, I'll wake you up if you oversleep. My main job is at a 24-hour amusement center. I work late at night, and there are a lot of drunks and crazy customers late at night in the downtown area. But thanks to that... Pay was good. That day after work, I found a woman sleeping in front of the store. Wow, how could someone sleep there? Hey, you'll freeze if you sleep here. Someone like me should just freeze to death. Leave me alone. Huh? 
No, you can't. I don't know why you're being so desperate, but by the time you calm down, your hands and feet will be frostbitten and you'll be sorry. I am calm. You're a drunk no matter how you look at it. You'll feel sorry for yourself when you sober up. You should go home. Don't underestimate frostbites. Speaking of which, my toes feel a little itchy. What? I only got frostbite? Could be. But no, no, I don't want frostbite. Oh, what should I do? You said you were willing to freeze to death. Don't get upset over a little frostbite. Go home and take a warm bath. I have nowhere to go. <sighs> I'm so sleepy. I don't care anymore. I'm gonna sleep here. Wait, wait. You're gonna freeze to death. What do you mean you don't have anywhere to go? Are you poor? I'm not poor. I'm rich. I'll give you money, so let me stay at yours. <sighs> hey, hey! I'll let you stay. I'll let you stay, so get up! Staying here. You'll actually freeze! <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> Who's Patrush? So I took the drunk home and tucked her into a warm bed. Hmm? Is she crying? I picked up some weird girl. But it's better than having her cause trouble in front of the store. And after I fell asleep in my chair, I left the woman who was sleeping and headed off to college. And when I came back to my room after class, the woman was still there. Oh, you're still here. How can you go out leaving a stranger in your house? What if something happens? I'm poor and I don't have anything precious for someone to take anyway. I have all my money with me, so I'm fine. More importantly, how's your frostbite? It's not too bad. I took a bath after I woke up and warmed myself up a bit. So maybe it'll get better? Probably. I mean, I don't mind, but it's impressive how you can take a bath at a stranger's house. Well, it seems safe. Seems safe? Are you a college student? Yeah. Your parents don't send you any money? No, I'm practically cut off from them. I see. You must be going through a hard time. Hey, can you let me stay here for a while? Just for a month? I'll pay you 10,000 yen a day. 10,000 a day? 3,100 for 31 days? I want it. Please. Doesn't look like you have a place to go. I don't have a choice. I work part time and I'm hardly ever home, so it's okay. But please don't make a mess to destroy this room, okay? I don't want to pay for unnecessary things. All right, I promise. Also, I think 10,000 yen a day is too much. How about 3,000 yen a day for food and all? You seem like you're trying to restrain yourself, but if you insist, I'll take your word for it. Can I ask your name? Minami, can I ask your name too? I'm Riku. I'm gonna go to my part-time job then. Yeah, good luck. And I headed to a cleaning job at a local supermarket. Then to my usual job at an amusement park after that. And came home in the morning. What? I told you not to mess up my room, didn't I? No, I just... I thought I could at least clean and cook in return for you letting me stay here. I see. Doesn't look like she did it with bad intentions. That means you haven't eaten much, have you? I'll make you something. Er, uh, I'm sorry for making more trouble for you, but I didn't know I had the ability in me. Huh? Ability? I can turn anything into charcoal. I don't know why I was a charcoal magician. Why are you trying to make it sound cool? You're just burning things. But her enthusiasm was palpable. So from then on, when I had time, I would help her with the chores. Today, I'll teach you how to do laundry. Yes, please. Can I start by asking you to teach me how to tell the difference between detergents and fabric softener? Read the labels on the bottles, okay? Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make fried eggs. Can I graduate from being a charcoal magician? I'll make you graduate. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to clean. Your room looks clean enough, but... It's important to get rid of dust and debris you can't see as well. And so, by the time two weeks had passed, Minami's housekeeping had improved. 
Minami was a normal, nice person. So much so that I couldn't believe she was trying to sleep on the street drunk. I get paid and I have a business-like relationship with Minami. How's that? I didn't ask Minami about her situation and she didn't say anything either. But it wasn't bad having her around. Hmm? Manager, what happened to this person? Oh, actually, she's the daughter of the owner of this amusement center. But she's been missing for two weeks. They reported it to the police, but they haven't found her. Are you serious? What? What's with that face? Have you seen her before? This person is in my house. What? She asked me if she could stay, so I'm letting her. She was sleeping in front of the store two weeks ago. She was freezing and had nowhere to go, so I took her to my place and... What? What? And then what? What have you been doing since then? You... You didn't do anything, did you? I didn't do anything! Then the manager called the owner who rushed to the store and I went home with him. What? Why are you here, Dad? Manami! Why did you run away from home? Did you dislike the arranged marriage that much? Of course I hated it. I would rather freeze to death in front of your store than marry that arrogant man. I don't know what I would be doing right now if Riku hadn't happened to walk by and pick me up. <laughs> I wouldn't mind marrying you. You don't like him that much? Um, this is the first time I'm hearing about this, but... Was Minami about to run away from home and freeze to death because you tried to force her into an arranged marriage? I was just trying to help Minami find a marriage partner, so she wouldn't have to marry a money-grubbing weirdo. That's none of your business. I could choose my own partner without being introduced to a man with such bad taste. I guess it was true that you were rich. If you had that kind of money, you should have stayed at a hotel instead of staying here. I figured if I stayed in a hotel, my dad would know where I was right away. He would start looking, going to look for me from places like that. I see. I guess he wouldn't expect to find you in this shabby apartment. All right, Manami. I won't make you go on any more blind dates, so come home. You're not going to make it so that I can't leave the room when I get home, are you? I wouldn't do that! Hey, Manami. I don't know everything that's been going on, but the owner was really worried about you before he came here. I don't think it's right to try and force someone into an arranged marriage, but I'm sure the owner's feelings for you are genuine. Why don't you forgive him? Riku, you're a good man! Well, if you say so, Riku, I guess if I have no choice. Okay, I'll go home. Only if you promise never to make me go on an arranged marriage again. Yeah, promise. Thank you so much, Riku. I'll give you a bonus next time. Oh no, Manami already paid for her stay. And so Manami went home with the owner. Thanks, Riku. I'm glad you helped me that day. Yeah, well then... See ya. Why do you look so sad? It's okay, we'll meet again, right? Speaking of meeting again, just don't freeze in front of the store, okay? I won't do it again. We were only together for two weeks, but I was very sad to say goodbye. But after that, Manami often showed up at the store when I was working. She was bowling and batting by herself, but I could tell she was coming to see me. Seeing Manami like that made me happy to my own surprise. Hey, Riku. I'll pay you, so can I stay at yours? What? Are you running away from home again? It's not that bad, but I learned a new menu and I thought I'd cook it for you. Then it's weird for you to pay me, isn't it? Just come over and hang out. Er, yeah. Minami and I still keep in touch. When I graduate from college and I'm able to work on my own, I plan to confess my feelings to Minami. My name is Ryuji Furuta. I'm 35 and currently single. My wife passed away five years ago and I have an 11-year-old daughter named Lynn. And I'm struggling. Have a good day, Lynn. <sighs> uh, what am I supposed to do? I don't have time to get bombed. I need to work. Good morning, Furuta-san. Oh, good morning. I have something I need to ask. Sure. 90% of our sector consists of male employees. 
Arisa Yamashita joined us three years ago, and she is a cute and dedicated colleague who comes to me with questions almost every day. Veruda, you look tired these days. Really? Can you tell? <laughs> What's wrong? Work? Family? Family. My daughter wouldn't speak one word to me. Well, 11 years old is a difficult time. What do you think I should do? Hey, I'm single. Do you think I have any good advice? <laughs> but you're doing really well, though. Being a single parent and doing well at job and all that. I'm not doing well with being a dad. I torture her and she gives me this look. Do you know how hard that is? Um, hi. Can I join you two? Sure, sit down. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, I overheard you talking earlier. Your daughter isn't speaking to you? I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but I, I just overheard. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I don't know if it's puberty or adolescence or whatever, but she hasn't spoken to me these two months, and uh, it's really getting to me. Well, there's no way guys in their 30s like us can understand the feelings of a young girl. Um, if you don't mind, I could try talking to her. Hey, Faruda, that's nice. You don't have any close female friends that you can talk to about this stuff, right? We don't have much women in our sector either. Well, that would help. But is that really okay with you? Sure, um, I was actually brought up by my dad too. So I thought maybe I could relate to her more than other people. What, really? You didn't have a mother growing up either? No, so I was once a rebellious teenager myself. I'm sure there are things that your daughter can't really talk to you about. These two months I've been giving her presents for no reason and cooking her favorite food, but nothing worked. I had no idea what else I could do, so I could really use her help. Um, could I really ask you to do that? Of course I'll find a way to pay you back somehow. That's okay, really. You've done so much for me at work. Thanks. Dash just have no idea about daughters. Then I'll come over at around 11 on Sunday. Please send me your address. <laughs> So, this is how Yamashita-san came over to see my daughter. And I ended up realizing a lot of things. Hi, how are you? I'm Arisa Yamashita. Your father has been really nice to me at the office. Nice to meet you. I'm Lin Furuta. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, she's speaking! Lin's speaking in the house! Hey, Lin-chan. Do you want to go shopping with me? You have really nice black hair, so you'd look great if you do your hair up and wear a tull skirt or something. Uh, really? Uh, Furuta-san, do you mind if I take her shopping while you wait for us somewhere? Oh, not at all. I have no idea what kind of clothes to buy her anyway. What do you say, Lin-chan? Daddy, can I go? Sure, let's go to the mall then. Yamashita-san is really fashionable at the office so she can help you choose some clothes. I've never even thought about what suits my daughter or not. I just take her to get a haircut once a month, but I've never given much thought about that either. I'll be having some coffee, so take your time. Yamashita-san, can you use this money for the shopping? Oh, um, can I ask for your number? I want to get your permission before I buy anything. We'll see you later. Can she buy this? It's 2,800 yen. Please do. I haven't seen her this happy for a while. There's only so much that a dad can do. It's, uh, not exactly clothes, but can she get some, um, shirts to wear under her clothes? Skirts that go under her clothes? Does she mean, like, tank tops? Of course, please get her whatever you think is necessary. If the money wasn't enough, I'll bring some more. We have enough money, but I'll get her some, um, appropriate underwear that she might be needing, too. Oh, right. I don't think she needed things like that now. I was married once and had some girlfriends before that, so I understand that girls' shopping takes long. This was no exception. Lin and Yamashita-san were taking their time, so I ordered my third coffee. Sorry to keep you waiting, Daddy. I'm sorry it took so long. I'm sure you got tired of waiting. This is the money that we didn't use and the receipts from all the shopping. No, I'm good. You must be hungry. Should we go eat something? And you know what, Daddy? Arisa-chan is so much fun! She said she liked the dress I tried on and got the same dress! It was really cute, though. Oh, and of course I bought that with my own money. 
Um, can I pay for that dress as a present to thank you? How much was it? Oh, no, please don't! Let's wear that dress and go out next time. Yay! Furuta-san, do you want to go to the movies after this? There's a movie on the 8th floor, so, um, if you have the time. Oh, yay! Let's go! Sure! I haven't been to the movies for years! <laughs> hey, Daddy! Do you think Arisa-chan will come visit again? I'll ask her. I really need to thank her properly when I go to the office on Monday. Lim was in such a good mood after the shopping and spoke a lot with me. It was also refreshing for me to spend the weekend with someone. Um, Yamashita-san? I really want to thank you for what you've done last week. But is there something you want right now? Oh no, I really didn't mean it that way. But we used our precious day off. I have to thank you somehow. Well, that's just wrong. Then I would normally say how about you buy me dinner. But if you get home late, Lin-chan would be sad. Ugh, so I can come over for dinner sometime? I'd love to hang out with Lin-chan again. Oh, Lin would love that. What kind of food do you like? Sushi? Steak? I love anything but tomatoes. So I got home and told Lin about our conversation. She got really excited. That Friday, Yamashita-san and I were heading home together after work. I lost my mother when I was ten. Since then, it was just my dad and I. But he also passed three years ago. I didn't know that. Three years ago. Would that be the year that you joined our company? Yeah. I never got to say sorry to my dad. So, when I see Lin-chan, I see myself all those years ago. What do you mean? Well, when I was 17, my dad said he wanted to remarry someone. I didn't want to see my dad like that, and I couldn't agree. I got really angry and refused. She started crying as she spoke. I have no idea how to treat girls, and I didn't know what to do. My dad was alone for the rest of his life because I was against his marriage. I couldn't stay his cute little daughter. He raised me on his own, but I was always rebelling against him. I didn't speak to him, I didn't listen to him, and I was such a bad daughter! But I'm sure he still adored you. I mean, even if Lin doesn't speak to me or says she hates me, I never once thought that she wasn't cute. So I'm sure you were always his cute little daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my dad! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm such a daddy's girl. I'm sure he was a special dad. I want to be like that too. We should get going. Lin Chan is waiting for us. We're home. Ah, Arisa Chan, welcome. Hi, Daddy. Good evening. Arisa Chan, you can stay over tonight, right? I put out some futon in my room for you. Oh, can I? Can she, Daddy? Of course. But I don't think she's prepared for that. Actually, I kind of prepared for a sleepover. And I also brought the matching dress we bought the other day so that we can go out tomorrow. Yay! That night, Lin spoke a lot. It was like when my wife was still here. I hadn't had a fun time at home like this for years. I'm really sorry that I'm being so pushy and staying over. It's fine. My parents and my in-laws both live in Kyushu. So we don't even have relatives who live close by and never have guests staying over. Lin looked really happy. Thank you for doing this. Uh, really? Well, I can't really invite her friends to stay over because I wouldn't know what to do. So she never had sleepovers. I'm sure she's sad. After I lost my dad and joined our company the same year, you treated me so nicely and I... I started to fall for you right away. When I sat with you for lunch that day, I was actually eavesdropping because you looked bummed. I first thought that I was just seeing my dad in you, but that's not what this is. What? Uh, but you're so much younger than me. Nine years apart? That's not such a big difference. So, um, well, when Lin Chan turns 20 and you... You like me, then? I want you to think about going out with me! Well, I'm flattered, but in nine years, I'll be 44. <laughs> you won't even notice me by then. I knew 
knew you were raising your daughter on your own, so I've been fighting my feelings for you. But I've always had feelings for you these three years. This is a challenge for me. It's kind of a punishment that I'm willing to take for being against my own dad's remarriage. Yamashita-san, thank you. I'll be waiting. But I won't expect you to wait around for so long. <laughs> oh, please do. After this conversation, she started coming over every weekend and stayed over a lot on Fridays. I've decided to wait for this nine-year challenge without keeping my hopes up. So I decided to go out with her. You guys are so cute. <laughs> Man, I hate you. We're not together. She's just helping me out. And Lynn's become so much brighter. But she only spoke to you since you joined our company. She only went to you with all those questions about work. I think she's always had a crush on you. Well, in nine years, she'll be back to her normal senses. That would be sad, but... She's never been married, and she's that cute. She doesn't have to choose to marry someone like me. Three months passed, and six months passed. Emma, Shita, San, and Lynn are like besties now, and I'm the odd one out. And the three of us decided to spend the New Year's together. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Lynn, Yamashita-san, what is your New Year's resolution? I want to be better at club activities. I want to get some qualifications for my job and also try some fancy cooking. Oh my god, are you planning to get married? Do you have someone in mind? Uh, what? No, 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 no. I'm turning 27 this year, so I, I just thought I should be able to cook something nice. Arisa-chan, how do you feel about Daddy? It's been six months since you first came to our house. I've always wanted you two to get married, but I don't feel like anything's going on. Come on, Lynn, stop it. Um, can we, though? Wouldn't you hate it if your dad got remarried? Hmm? Ever since you started coming to our house, our house became such a fun place for us. I would love it if you were here every day. Uh, don't you feel the same, Daddy? I'd have to say I agree. Uh, san <laughs> If I were mature like Lin-chan, I would have understood my dad more and he would have had a happier life. <laughs> I wasn't his cute little girl after all. You know what? If you would really agree to marry me, how about you forget being a cute daughter and thinking about being a cute bride? Yeah, you can be my cute mom! <laughs> you guys! And I'm not a cute daughter either. I've always questioned if you were enjoying your life, Daddy. Working on weekdays and staying at home on weekends. After Mom died, you never even went fishing! You didn't seem like you were enjoying your life, and I hated to think that that was my fault. I don't think I'll ever understand how a girl's mind works. Lynn, there's no way that I don't enjoy being with you. <laughs> I miss my dad! This is how things went. Yamashita-san, Lynn, and I became a family after six months. And I started to enjoy hobbies like fishing again. Lin, should we have some sashimi for dinner tonight with the fish your father got for us? <laughs> sure, Mom! Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.